Welcome back to Pick Jimmy. You can call me DJ and hello to the bushel of bad apples. If you want to join the bushel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below to join this fantastically fucked up family. And today we are taking a look at the foundation cigar Olmec in Maduro. And this was sent to the channel by none other than Cigar Hound Dog. Appreciate you, buddy. Now, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have had this cigar. What do you think of it? I know a lot of people are loving it. Uh, a lot of people like the Glado. I got the Maduro right here. Looking forward to trying the Maduro. So, without further ado, we're going to stop yapping and start smoking. The wrapper is Mexican San Andreas with a binder from Nicaragua, Esteli Jalapa, and the filler is undisclosed. The heartland of the Olmex is the tropical lowlands of modern day Mexican states. Olmex cigars contain the finest Nicaraguan filler tobaccos from Esteli Jalapa Valleys. After fermentation, these filler tobaccos are bale aged for three years before arriving on the production floor. The San Andreas Negro Raptor tobacco comes from the rich volcanic soil in the land of Olmex. It is fermented slowly at low temperatures to preserve the natural oils that give flavor. The blend delivers a full-bodied smoking experience with rich flavors of cacao, dark espresso, and spice without being too aggressive. Now let's get right into the review. This is a very nice Maduro, very nice Maduro. It's the kind of Maduro I like because it's not just straight mud. <laughs> Maduros that are just straight peaty earth and leather are like my least favorite. But this has a lot going on. It's got a sweetness to it. A nice dark cacao, bitter cacao, but a sweetness uh, like a dark bitter cacao. Okay, mixed bitter cacao. <laughs> Bitter cacao mixed with a nice dried fruit sweetness. Right off the bat, loads of black pepper. Ooh. Ooh. Freaking plumes of smoke. Beautiful tobacco notes to it, too. That's one thing that... Uh, ooh. That was chocolate on the finish, though. That was straight chocolate. Wow, that was a brief little bye. Out the door she went. That was a fantastic note. I hope more of that picks up. I'm, I'm going to have to retrohale this cigar, aren't I? I don't like retrohaling cigars because I have sinus issues. <laughs> like, uh, And it's been raining. It has been raining incess incessantly today uh, in Texas. It has been raining... Since the wee hours, like 3 a.m., and it's projected not to stop until around 2 a.m. this morning. Uh, it has been a busy as shit Friday for me. It was supposed to be nice and easy. I was going to get some reports done. No big deal. Easy peasy. Mm. No such luck. Mm, man. Okay, so notes on the cigar. Ooh. It's sweet chocolate. It is sweet chocolate on that finish. It is black pepper, salt, lots of salt, a good amount of salt. It is salted chocolate with 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 some bitter notes, some sweet notes to it. Like it comes in waves. It starts out as as bitter cacao. It ends in sweet chocolate. What a weird. Whew. That's the level of smoke we like right there. It that is freaky. I keep licking my lips because I swear the very end is a kiss of a little like a like a little a literal chocolate kiss just at the very end of it. It is making my tongue salivate as if I am having American candy, like American chocolate, not not cocoa chocolate, like not not cacao chocolate. Where it is it like chocolate tastes like chocolate everywhere else in the world? In America, chocolate tastes like sugar, and that's the end of this. It's bitter. It's it's salty. Like it's bitter in a good way, like a semi sweet. It's salty. It's peppery. There's maybe a a touch of earth in there just to have something kind of um, heavy. 
Uh, but then it, it ends. It ends in straight up kiss of chocolate. It ends with a straight up kiss of chocolate. Oh, I haven't smoked a foundation cigar on this channel in a hot minute. And I believe the only foundation cigar I've smoked on this channel is the Goliath. Did not like the Goliath. It is loads of leather and salt and earth and just big Goliathy flavors, right? Not a fan. Not a bad cigar. Not a personal fan. This, however, aside from it drying out my my tongue, it is causing me to salivate and dry out my tongue at the same time because tobacco smoke in general will dry out your your tongue. It just that's a side effect of it. Um, and uh, this is definitely medium plus at this point, and we just got started. Ooh, but look at this. Check out the line. Check out the line. Not bad. Not perfect, but definitely not bad. That's damn near perfect. Let me know. Appreciate y'all. Hope you're having a great day. I will see you in just a bit. I was shooting another product review. Um, a company sent me a new RGB light back there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'll have a video about that. Uh, not Again, no affiliates, nothing like that. Just, hey, saw your channel. You use lights. Want to try our lights? And I'm like, yeah, I'll try your lights. So far, I'm digging them too. They're way smaller than my other lights that I use so that they, I can actually walk back there now. Such such a nice little thing to have. But we're back. We are here. I just realized my other key light uh, is pointed the wrong way, but that's fine. Um, digging this cigar. It's it's a nice, it's a full cigar, so don't over smoke it. Don't be DJ in that regard. Um, cause you will feel it, but it's so easy to do too. Cause it's tasty. It is a nice kind of chocolatey cigar. Got some spice to it. As we're getting into this part, we're getting a lot more of like deep espresso, deep espresso notes. The chocolate kiss is gone, which it's missed, but I'm getting still like a nice sweetness from like a dark dried fruit, maybe a plum. I can't tell. It's not very tart, but it's, it's a dark, sweet dried fruit. Um, that's the only sweetness though. The chocolate sweetness is gone. It's cacao again. It's bitter chocolate and it's espresso. And it's still lovely. That chocolate kissed in the beginning though. That first third was, it was, it was so wild. It was tripping my brain up. Mm. But what a great cigar uh, by Foundation. I mean, I know people love Foundation cigars. I have not given them too much time and that's a crime. But, um, you know, I, 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 I get sent so many variety of cigars. I, I wish I could do nothing but pump out content. I wish I wasn't so busy with my job that I could smoke um, and, and do a lot more reviews than I have been able to. Uh, we're getting to the, the, the slow end, you know, as we get into December for my job. Um, November is, whew, all that, I'll talk to you guys about that. How about that? You want to tell stories? Um, November is going to be slammed. If you guys see me, um, then I hustled my bustled and I got some videos up for you. But DJ is going to probably, I might disappear. I know, I'm sorry, first person, I know a problem. Hey, sorry. Um, I might disappear for a little while. It's not going to be anything like the summer, um, but you might not see as much. I have just next week, Jesus. Uh, next week, I have a tournament to shoot. Uh, and then into that, I have stuff with my mother-in-law I got to deal with. After that, I have a week long of marketing meetings that I have like planning for the next year, which that's what I've been doing today. I've been working on reports for that. Kind of proving my worth, making sure they know like, hey, here are my numbers. Um, <laughs> this year alone, we posted like 186 videos. It's only October right now when I'm recording this to YouTube. I've made it over 186 videos in a year. And that's like, not, not like this where it's easy editing, like full fledged videos. Um, killer man, killing it this year. But, uh, I've been dealing with that, just kind of proving like, Hey, again, th this is what I do just in case you forgot. Um, dealing with that. I got that week long meeting. And then after that Thanksgiving already, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving already. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Pam? Um, Thanksgiving already. And then shortly after Thanksgiving, I am going to go on a little vacay. 
uh, driving with my family to the Smokies. I've never been. It's a place my, my wife used to go all the time when she was growing up. That was kind of their go-to uh, destination for, for vacations. I've never had the chance to go. Uh, it sounds nice. It sounds so much better than going to a place where I got to like, uh, you know, take my kids to an amusement park all day or hang out at the beach where it's like really draining. I want a shut my brain off and just be type of vacation, which is hard to do with kids. So I know we're going, I think we're going to Dolly World one day. Um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be family vacation. I understand. Um, but, uh, yeah, it sounds really nice to just kind of chill and breathe because it's been a lot. It has been a lot of little things. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video. I haven't because the audio got lost. Hope you all enjoyed the, uh, the, the, the asylum nine by 90 video. That was fun to shoot, uh, fun to do just in general. But, uh, yeah, it was, what a what a video that was to make what a beast man what a beast of a cigar i if if that cigar tasted like it did in a small form fat let me know because i'd love to try that cigar again just not nine by 90 because it was a great flavor profile in the beginning um but just a lot november's gone november i'm gonna blink and it's gonna be over uh and then we're in december and then i got my christmas party for my job in early december and i'm i'm crossing my fingers <sighs> so every year they give out awards obviously and one award particularly is um, pretty coveted. It's basically like the the superstar award, right, of the year. And since 2020, um, I don't want to... I feel like I've been a contender for it since 2020. Uh, I came back and I, I kicked ass and I took names, man. And I took this company... And we are we are night and day as far as digital marketing goes from before 2020 to now. And, and a large portion of that is me. Um, and a lot of people in the company have attributed that to me. But large companies are political, if you don't know. So uh, I didn't get it in 2020. 2020, they did like a kumbaya, we all survived COVID, everyone's the superstar. And then last year, um, I don't want to say I got robbed, but other people did. <laughs> and uh, I, I know exactly why the person won who did win, and it's fine. So I'm, I'm hoping. I, I know that for a fact that um, if it doesn't happen this year, it's probably never going to happen. Uh, just the way the tides are turning. If I'm not recognized this year for the award then if I ever do get it, it'll be for the same reason the person got it last year. Um, and I don't want to win for that. I don't want to win as a, hey, you're valued. Please don't leave. <laughs> I want to win because, hey, you're valued. Let me recognize that. Uh, so mid-December. If I win, I'll let you guys know because... It'd be pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. That's kind of what's going on for me. The end of the year is going to be a freaking rush, man. I hope as December slows down, we'll get to shoot a lot more videos. And then January, we'll pick back up. And hopefully, I get that bankroll going of videos where, like, I have videos planned out for, like, a month. So I don't have to worry about not showing up. Because I don't want to be one of those guys that doesn't show up. And I am going to shoot a series of videos, or at least one. Um, I know I normally do, like, the... Uh, at, you know, four, eight, or ten cigar channels to check out in 2023, it'll be. I'll have a version of that, um, but with so many people quitting and so little people kind of being discouraged to start, I guess, and people going back to their normal lives, I mean, 2020 until like 2021 was time to start a hobby, time to kind of go for it, and now the world's just not that place anymore, so I don't know if I'll have that video, but I'll try and do that video, or at least a version of it. And I want to bring out more more DJ minutes because I think people like them. I mean, y'all like them. Let me know. But if there's if there's any type of topic you want me to cover, and you you made it this far into the video for a DJ minute, uh, shoot me an email. Email's on screen right now. I'd love to have uh, feedback, input. But I'm gonna smoke this cigar down. Um, it's very much so full body at this point, and. 
Oh, that was a nice, nice woody note on the finish now. What is that? Delicious is what it is. This is a fantastic cigar. I absolutely love this thing. Um, this is the kind of Maduro I can get behind. Digging it a lot. I really, really am. Uh, but like I said, I'll smoke this down. We'll go ahead and take the band off. I'm going to smoke it down. We'll finish this bad boy off. And uh, yeah, hope you all having a great day. I didn't tap the ash this time so I could show you guys. Um, honestly, I think the level of construction of this cigar, if I didn't tap it the three times I've tapped it, uh, it'd be the whole friggin' cigar at this point. This thing is great. Construction is fantastic. That burn line is, oh my gosh. Uh, this is a wonderful cigar. It is full strength. It is at this point. It is a, a punchy cigar as far as the tobacco level of the cigar. This is not one you want to oversmoke. I did, in fact, oversmoke it, and I am not feeling the best in the gut right now. Uh, I need to grab myself a small little piece of chocolate, but uh, I'm about to go inside as it is anyways, right after I enjoy this last little bit off camera here. Wonderful cigar. I'm digging it. Digging it a lot. Um, full espresso in the final third here. Chocolate is gone. Uh, sweetness is gone. It is rich tobacco and full espresso. I'm digging it. So far, that first third was my favorite. Absolutely. The second third had that wonderful woody note to it. That is gone. And this is just straight up espresso. So if you love espresso notes, you're going to love the third. If you love woody, kind of sweetie, delicious, like espresso Second third's for you. If you love chocolate, at least for this copy that I got, that first third is money. Uh, but this is a great cigar. If you haven't and you've got to and you can find them near you, pick one up. The All Mac Maduro. Uh, would I smoke this again? Absolutely. Would I buy it for a friend? Absolutely. This thing is great. Uh, but yeah. Appreciate y'all greatly. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTube -y things. Follow me on Rumble. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok, which I can actually go live on there sometime, which I might do. I finally crossed 1,000 on there, which is cool. Um, but YouTube's my home. I love YouTube. Uh, they're finicky. They're issues. But this is where we're at, man. This is where we're going to be. If we ever poof, we'll promote some other channel, I guess. But for now, hey, it's YouTube. But just in case, follow me on other platforms. Uh, it's always pick Jimmy. That's simple. One word, pick Jimmy. Uh, Instagram, Twitter. I'm not on Twitter, though. But Instagram is my second favorite platform. It's an awful platform. It's burning right now. People are fleeing and they hate it. But that's where I'm at. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So uh, appreciate you all greatly. Uh, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you have a fun Halloween. Or I guess when this goes out, I hope you had a fun Halloween. Um, and I hope you're looking forward to Thanksgiving and the rest of the season. If you're one of those people where this season is hard for you, um... I understand. I really do. For a long time, we had no family out here. And it's a difficult season when you are alone with no family. And remember, every day is a gift. Every day is a blessing. You are here. And we all need you here. So you have a great day. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all greatly. I truly, truly do. Um, this is the best form of therapy I have. I am very grateful for every chance I get to sit in this chair and have a moment with all of you. I will see you in the next video.